The Yankees are coming out in dribs and drabs. I think that they're not quite sure what's supposed to happen. And now they've been telling them not to go. Yes, now they're going. Okay. <laughs> All right, Yankees are taking the field for the first time in 2022. There is Billy Crystal, and his delivery is a bit low and outside, but it got there. <laughs> and here comes Garrett Cole this year. Oh, Garrett Cole, that's the way you want to start if you're the New York Yankees. Get your ace on the mound. And Tom, right at the top, Kike Hernandez likes to hunt that first pitch. Walked him on four pitches. The left hand hitting third baseman, Rafael Devers. A high drive to right. It sends Judge back, all the way back, and it's gone. A walk to Hernandez, a homer by Devers, and perhaps a flashback to last October for Cole. Bogarts had a first inning homer off Cole at Fenway Park in the wild card game last fall. And he lines this one hard to left. It sends Gallo back. He'll have to play it off the wall, and he'll hold him to a very long single, but the early returns are not positive for Garrett Cole. Line to right, fair ball, down the line. Here goes Bogarts heading for third, being waved home. Judge gets it back in. The throw to the plate is late, and the Red Sox go up 3-0. Well, Nathan Navaldi is a workhorse. And I mean that by the way he trains as well. Nobody works harder than Nathan Navaldi, and very few throw as hard. Now Aaron Judge, 10 for 26 in his career against Navaldi. On the first pitch, he sends one softly into right, and it drops in front of Jackie Bradley Jr. So although he didn't hit it hard, his mastery of Evaldi continues. Anthony Rizzo picked up in midseason from the Cubs. Drive to deep right center field, and forget about it. No sooner do you say it than Rizzo goes deep. And just like that, Evaldi, who inherited a three-run lead before he threw a pitch, sees it reduced to one. Giancarlo struck out in the first. Slams this one to right. It sends Bradley back, and it makes the seats into the first row. Well, when you're that strong and in this ballpark, Tom, that's all it takes. Bob, I've never seen another hitter like Giancarlo Stanton, where he can look so bad on one pitch yep. and so good on the next. Who now faces LeMayhew. LeMahieu lines one to left, and Verdugo makes a diving catch. The Yankees leave two. We played five, still tied at three. Now we're about to see it right here with the Red Sox. Can Alex Verdugo execute? He, he can. Answers, yes. Playable with the infield back, in which case it would have scored a run anyway. It gets by LeMahieu with the infield in tight. An RBI hit for Verdugo, and the Red Sox are back in front, four to three. Oh my goodness, that is just a beautiful thing. The way he just cut down on his stroke. As you said, situational hitting. Watch how abbreviated this swing is. Infield in, just put it in play. They did not have the contact play on. Bogarts is waiting to see the ball through. But that's just a nice, short, put the ball in play swing. LeMahieu, 0 for 2 with a walk. LeMahieu skies one to right center field and deep back on the track. And this one ties the game. And a rare show of emotion for DJ LeMahieu as he rounded second base. That ball had some carry to it. Started out looking like a long fly ball, but well short of the wall. And it got out of here to tie the game at four. Bogarts has singled and doubled in four at bats. Off the fist, well placed. It drops. Here comes Aruz. He will score, and the Red Sox have the lead. Gonzalez at third with the run that could tie it. LeMahieu at second with the run that would win it. And the 0-2 pitch. In the air to center, Kike Hernandez goes back. This will tie the game. Gonzalez tags, he'll score, even up at five. Well, real good execution by Torres. Let's see if Connor Falefa can finish it. Again on three and two. Struck him out and will play an 11th inning. That's the top of the order in Josh Donaldson. He's one for five with a base hit. Toward the middle, it sneaks through. Here comes Connor Falefa. And the Yankees have won it on opening day in the Bronx. Now it's a happy crowd, but nobody's happier than Josh Donaldson.